Ever wonder what happens to your body when you start working out? The changes to your heart, mind, muscles, and physical appearance. We'll look into that specifically in this video. But before getting into it, if you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. So, without further ado, let's get started. Exercise is compared to taking a magical pill for the brain. And if a drug could ever improve your health in the same ways that exercise can, it would probably be the most expensive medication ever created. Why then is exercise so beneficial to us? Exercise is one of the fundamental behaviors that the most successful people exhibit. Ever begin to question the reasons why? The keystone habits that, if practiced, developed, and applied, influence change in every aspect of our lives are discussed by Charles Duhigg in his book, The Power of Habit. Anyone looking to develop self-discipline regularly goes to the gym or engages in some form of exercise because it is a keystone habit. We are all aware of the physical advantages of exercise, such as improved appearance, weight loss, muscle growth, and general fitness. With the naked eye, these changes are simple to see. However, exercising has advantages that go beyond the surface. The majority of people who exercise noticeably feel happier, more motivated, and less depressed. This is the reason why exercise has been called the miracle drug and has been suggested as a treatment for a variety of conditions, including Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, insomnia, depression, and memory loss. This is because physical activity causes the body to naturally produce serotonin, endorphins, and a protein called brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF. Each of these hormones works in a different way to lower stress levels, improve mood, promote better sleep, enhance learning, and boost confidence. You'll feel more alert and energized when you start exercising, especially if it's your first time or you've taken a long break. As your blood flow and oxygen levels to the brain increase as a result of increasing your heart rate, a special brain cell called dopamine, which is responsible for motivation, is released. A dopamine deficit is what causes feelings of fatigue or laziness that make you feel like doing nothing. Dopamine is responsible for our motivation, focus, and the satisfaction we experience after accomplishing something. It inspires you to take action and gives you confidence that what you did was worthwhile. Therefore, if you have a dopamine deficit, you might find it challenging to complete tasks because you don't feel sufficiently satisfied by them to justify doing them. But whenever you work out, you directly raise the level of dopamine in your blood, which causes you to feel motivated and energized rather than exhausted and worn out. More on this will be discussed later, but let's first examine how exercise affects the body. It's possible that a few weeks after working out, the physical effects of exercise won't be felt. Likely, even a month of exercise won't yield much noticeable progress. However, whether you can see the biological changes or not, they happen while you are working out and exercising. To begin with, a few weeks after beginning a cardio routine, you'll notice that you have more energy because your metabolism and mitochondria are working harder. One of the biggest myths about exercise is that it makes you lose weight. Muscle gain, not weight loss, results from exercise. And because mitochondria, which are found in muscles, burn energy, mitochondria are found in your cells and are responsible for converting carbohydrates, fats, and proteins into the fuel that your muscles need to function. According to research, people can increase their mitochondria by up to 50% after 6 to 8 weeks. You'll notice a change in your fitness if your cells contain more mitochondria. For instance, you can now climb flights of stairs without feeling as though you've just finished a half a marathon. Your muscles will start to grow and get stronger after about a month. Although it might not be immediately apparent, working out makes your muscles stronger. The increase in metabolism in this case is even greater. 
because muscle cells require a lot of energy, they consume a lot of calories. Even when you aren't exercising, they burn more calories than fat cells. Therefore, the time you spend exercising pays off long after you stop. Take this information with a grain of salt, but it does not mean that you can slouch on your couch while watching TV or Netflix and still burn fat. The U.S. National Science of Medicine estimates that if you consistently exercise for 6 months, focusing primarily on cardio, you can anticipate a 20% increase in your overall VO2 max. VO2 max which measures the speed at which your body can deliver oxygen to your muscles for fuel is frequently used as a fitness indicator. In other words, you should be able to run longer and faster in a shorter amount of time if your VO2 max is higher. Therefore, a 20% increase in your VO2 max should allow you to run 20% farther in the same amount of time. In other words, if you can run a mile in 10 minutes, Increasing your VO2 max by 20% should enable you to run 1.2 miles in 10 minutes or 1 mile in about 8 minutes. Finally, regular exercise enlarges and eventually strengthens your heart. Your heart beats faster and pumps more blood during exercise than it would otherwise. Your heart's muscles become stronger, as a result, lowering your risk of suffering a heart attack. This typically occurs 6 months into a regular exercise regimen, around the time the physical benefits of exercise become apparent. An increase in the blood supply to the brain is one of the physiological effects that might not be immediately apparent. As a result, the brain functions more effectively, which improves focus while performing tasks. Additionally, exercise encourages the growth of new brain cells, which enhances memory and learning. Additionally, endorphins are released while you exercise to reduce any stress you may be experiencing. Endorphins are incorrectly referred to as feel-good hormones, but when they are released into the body, your mood is improved and you experience feelings of happiness. The stress you may have been under before working out is ultimately reduced, and as a result, when you consistently work out, your body receives a regular supply of endorphins and dopamine, leaving you feeling energized and supercharged to take on the day. You sleep better as a result of exercise, which benefits your brain as well. It is impossible to pinpoint the exact mechanism by which exercise helps people sleep better and experience less insomnia. However, anxiety and depression are typically to blame for insomnia and restlessness. By releasing endorphins and dopamine, exercise helps to lessen anxiety and depressive symptoms. You should experience less insomnia as a result of this, which should improve your sleep. A person may find it easier to fall asleep if they exercise right before bed because the temperature drops after exercise. Additionally, getting some exercise in the late afternoon or early evening can help you sleep better. Since insomnia is caused by a crooked circadian rhythm, exercise can help correct our biological clock, leading to better sleep as well. Our bodies run on a biological clock called a circadian rhythm. Exercise improves your mood temporarily by releasing endorphins and raising your serotonin levels to a moderate level. You feel good about yourself and happy as a result of the constant release of these hormones, which amazingly also boosts your confidence. How incredible is that? This is because as you exercise, even if you don't initially notice any physical benefits, your body awareness improves. You gain pride in yourself and feel amazing about yourself when you decide to become healthier and actively work to get fit and in shape, which boosts your confidence. At some point, when physical changes become apparent, your confidence soars. Some people claim that exercise was the only thing that changed their lives and outlook on life in general. Your sense of worth is reaffirmed after working out. You feel admirable and content with yourself as a result. Your self-assurance will increase to the point where you will finally have the nerve to approach the girl you've always liked. It will and can help you get better grades. Reducing the frequency of hospital visits can also help you save money 
and money spent on prescription medication as well. Exercise is beneficial for both our physical and mental health. And if you exercise consistently for just 3 hours per week, you'll probably live longer than you otherwise would. Additionally, a longer life will probably feel happier and more fulfilling. And that concludes our video for today. Thanks for watching. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell button to get updated on our latest videos. Don't forget to like this video and drop a comment. See you next time.